Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over the Walker's electronic hearing protection that you see on my head and that you guys saw in the intro. These are very similar to the Razer line. There's a couple differences. The most notable being that this has Bluetooth sound connection to it. So if you guys want to listen to radio, listen to music, or even have a cell phone conversation on the range while still retaining your hearing protection, these will allow you to do that. So that's a pretty cool technology in my opinion. And uh, what we're gonna do next is let the dogs take a look at it, make sure it's good to go, do a little bit more shooting, get into the details on these, the controls, um, basically how they work, how they feel, the materials, all that stuff. And then at the end, we're gonna wrap it up and let you know what we think of it overall. dogs checked them out so now we're going to get into the details one of the big things about these is that they fold up nice and small so throwing them in your range bag is very convenient and doesn't take up a ton of space as you guys can see here to uh, extend them out you're just going to pull down and then they're adjustable for guys with big fat heads uh, just by pulling down here like so as you guys can see when i'm wearing them they're generally right about there and i have a seven and three eighths hat size if that gives anybody out there a relative size uh, comparison for you um, you guys can see there they're very slim on the side which is nice they're not heavy they're not bulky they're not sticking out and for shooting rifles that can be particularly important and one thing that is nice is that they kind of slope down here and as you guys have probably seen throughout the review i've never had any issues with these breaking cheek weld or anything like that um, when shooting with a the rifle they don't break seal they don't uh, impede the function of the rifle as it would naturally sit so i do like that overall that is huge um, because there's no point in wearing ear protection if it's popped off the side of your head it's not going to do you a lot of good there the earmuffs do have four microphones that you guys can see here, two on each, and they are front and rear. So you do have the ability with these to tell the direction that a sound is coming from. Uh, that is not always the case, particularly on uh, hearing protection that costs less than a couple hundred dollars. So that certainly is a good thing with these. Um, you can tell if it's right or left, or if it's front or rear, which is nice if you're hunting, of course, or in any type of self-defense type of scenario. It gives you good situational awareness. Controls here are going to be pretty basic. We have uh, the on button here and this is also your volume button now this controls the sound uh, that's around you so for instance um, people talking around you uh, rustling of the trees etc that's the volume that you're controlling here now the volume of the Bluetooth connection um, is going to be dependent on the device you're coming from so for instance if you're using like an iPhone uh, your volume you're gonna adjust up and down by using the phone volume same thing with like an iPad or your computer or whatever the case may be you're gonna control that volume uh, from that device. Now to turn Bluetooth on, you're just gonna press and hold this little button here. And you'll hear in your ear a little uh, beep and that will let you know that it is pairing. Uh, when it pairs, it will beep again and let you know it's paired and immediately go into the sound uh, from whatever device that you're using. So um, that's pretty much how the Bluetooth works. Pretty simple. And when you turn the device off, as soon as you turn it back on, you have to hit the pairing button again if you want to pair with your device. It doesn't automatically go into the Bluetooth mode. The pads on these earmuffs are a rubberized type of material. It's flexible. It's got a lot of give to it. And I found it to be very comfortable. One thing is if you sweat a lot, it will get a little bit slick in there. It's just something to point out. And we do have a faux leather uh, interior here. So if you have a shaved head like me, uh, it's very comfortable up against your skin. It's not plastic or anything like that that can dig into your skull. So very comfortable there. And then, of course, we have the sort of mesh kind of material here. It almost feels like a Cordera. Um, um, and with the Walker's logo, and that's covering up the wires that are connecting it all back to this side right here, which is going to be the two batteries that run it. It's powered off of uh, two AAA batteries. You guys can see I use the rechargeable uh, Amazon ones because I use these constantly. Um, when I tested this with uh, standard AAA batteries and just left it on to see how long they would stay on, it stayed on for 26 hours in my testing. So uh, 26 hours of runtime out of your AAA batteries. Again, though, um, you can use rechargeables as you guys can see. And uh, there isn't a warning light or anything like that letting you know they're on. So when you do come off the range, make sure you click that down 
and make sure it's not in the up position. Just a couple more details to cover here before we close the video out. So these ones here have a noise reduction rating of 23. Um, so compared to some of the bigger, bulkier electronic earring protection out there, it's gonna be a little bit lower uh, compared to some of the non-electronic earring protection that's big and bulky as well. Again, gonna be a little bit lower. However, compared to some of the slim electronic earring protection out there, that's actually pretty good. Some of those are down around 18 or 19. So the more, the better in terms of hearing protection. So that's pretty good. I know folks are always gonna ask, uh, could I wear these shooting in an indoor range? The answer to that is yes, you absolutely could. Um, however, um, noise exposure is kind of a complex subject. So certain types of noise, certain spikes in decibel levels and different frequencies are worse for your ears than others. And of course, uh, the longer you're exposed to that amount of noise, uh, the more potential for damage that you do have. So if you're in an indoor range shooting like a nine inch uh, AR pistol with a break on it for 48 hours, uh, yeah, I would recommend doubling up and wearing some earplugs with these. But if you're shooting like a Glock 17, uh, you should be fine. So that's sort of my take on that in terms of noise reduction rating. Um, the sound quality on these is, is okay it's not exceptional and when i say exceptional i think of like uh, msa sword into the digital ones and also like the peltor contact threes those are fantastic in terms of sound clarity and sound reproduction uh, these are not that but these also don't cost 500 dollars like the contact threes do um, these cost right around 70 to 80 dollars on amazon currently so if you guys are interested i'll stick a link down below so you can't really expect the same amount of clarity in my opinion but they're relatively similar to howard lights so if you guys out there are very similar or, or rather experienced with the howard light uh, impact sports sound clarity on these is about the same that's kind of how i would equate it however to me personally I get a better seal with these, and these are also more comfortable uh, than the Howard Lights, for example, um, just in my particular use. So uh, these also, of course, have the Bluetooth feature, which is awesome, because I am out there uh, seven, nine hours-ish every time I go out shooting for a long time, and to have something just to kind of like not make you go crazy to have the music in the background certainly is nice and uh in terms of cell phone connection so i tested that with my wife uh, i called her up with these on to see how it would work and she was having a hard time hearing me when I was outside in the wind. As you guys know who watch the channel, uh, where I shoot is very, very windy. There's pretty much a 10 mile an hour or more constant wind at all times. In the wind, she was having a hard time hearing me. However, as soon as I got in my truck, uh, she was able to hear me just fine using the Bluetooth on this with my iPhone 8. So that's sort of a, uh, I guess, a a uh, data point for you, for those of you guys who are looking to use these with your phones for communication, it does have the capability to do so. Um, but again, out in the wind, she was having a little bit of a hard time with it um, for what it's worth. But all in all, I really like these. You guys see me wear these all the time. Um, again, I have fancier electronic hearing protection, but I tend to use these for two particular reasons. Number one, Bluetooth. I really like it. I like to listen to music when I'm out there filming um, because again, I'm out there all day long and just listening to gunfire is kind of annoying and uh, boring so the music helps keep it live and uh, gives me some motivation to keep going and I also like these because they're super lightweight. Um, I have Bluetooth electronic hearing protection that are sort of nicer I guess you could say than these uh, but they're heavier so that's the downside for sure. These are really lightweight very comfortable for me and of course um, are not super expensive so I definitely like these all around. I recommend them for sure. Uh, if you guys have any questions about these that I didn't cover in the video you can always post down below in the comment section as always but thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you guys aren't subscribed and just found the channel here go ahead and hit that subscribe subscribe button and hope to see all of you in the next video.